are doing um, like even just a background as you can see I was just dropping colors on this and then instead of doodling with my sharpie like I did on this now I'm just using one of my paint brushes um, and so you you'll get used to it as, as you you're playing with it and that's where this uh, the flats might come in handy because you can uh, come in here and oh, let's see if we were to add a shadow you can just come in there and, and cut in but the flat and sometimes you hit it at the right angle there again it's just kind of that calligraphy move that has got the now this is great but I'm just plain um, sometimes I go oh well that was stupid why did I do that I'm gonna just lift some of that color off and let that dry what I really brought this out to is to come into this back area again another thing there's a lot of um, things that you can use to create texture in your painting in, in your background. So I'm coming in here. I am going to protect my house, but I'm going to add a pretty good layer of water right now. It's just clear water. But even this, do you see how I created the, um, the post of this house? It had that green layer that was the background, but then when I came in with just even a soft layer, I'm able to start to pull out the um, characteristics of the home. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah, wait till we do one on brush -over. There's this fun stuff. It, it's uh, granulated pigments, but I find that they're they're also dyes. Um, and the dyes, the the transparent or not the synthetics and the dyes, they don't always have the same. Um, uh, resistance to fading that the pure pigments and things do so you, you have to kind of pay attention to what are you using it on or what what is it for so let's take a little bit more of some kind of colors now this is actually Windsor Newton's um, opera pink and it's got a, a lot of transparency and a lot of life to it. So, come in there and I'm just getting, looks like flames or something. Uh, quinacridones, um, they actually came from the car industry, is what I've heard. And they are supposed to be very light sensitive or light fast um but we're really not worried about that right now i don't think so <laughs> all right so sometimes if you're doing some kind of background and, and you just want it to look something like Oh, the forest or, or something, but not, like I said, the, the brain will, will really fill in a lot of uh, the other parts. Um, that guy right there is already looking like a little pine tree or something. So. But sometimes it, it's just fun to drop things on. I... I just saw my, I kind of just did a double dip and I'm, I don't usually do that. So, um, I have seen some people's palettes though, where the yellow is just green or, or whatever, because they, they are dipping because everybody creates their own little way of moving the paint. And, and that's the important thing is just to 
get out and move the paint, you know. Um, you'll get used to it. You'll create your own, you'll get your own style. I did a, um, a waterfall this, this year or so ago, and I did it originally in a pastel. And then I thought, oh, I bet I can get better, stronger darks if I go to oil. So I, I tried it again in oil. And well, I went, oh, I, I didn't veer too far from what the other one looked like. It was just the difference in medium. And then the third one, I thought, well, let me try watercolor. And it kind of, they all looked different, but they were the same. And I, I uh, mentioned that to uh, a professional and she said, well, maybe that's your style. I said, I don't know. I paint them in all different mediums and they, they all kind of, to me, look the same. She goes, well you may have already found your style. And I'm like, well, what happens if I don't like it? <laughs> so, um, you know, you're, you're going to probably be your worst critic. But the one thing that's also fun as an artist is you never stop learning. Um, when, when you say, okay, I know it all, you're probably getting yourself in trouble. Um, but see, look how much fun that can be. As I said, it's going to uh, fade a little bit, but that doesn't mean that after it's dry, I can't come back in here and even build up those those colors even more. Um, and if I want to, I can come back in, pull something out, and if you really need to clean a spot, and we, we covered this last time, but uh, I guess... It's really not that. I was concerned with what what was it doing to your paper um, overall. A lot of people uh, and they they actually sell this kind of product under a different name um, through the art stores, but it is just magic eraser. As we talked about earlier, the hundred uh, percent cotton is basically fabric, so there is no reason this shouldn't work on it. But I still am wondering you know, are you actually putting something in the paper that's going to do anything in the years? But I I don't think any of us will live to hear about it in the first place. <laughs> so go for it. If you want to really rinse out some area, you can use this. As, as you see, it comes in a big block. Here's one of my Q-tips. Um, comes in a big block. I tend to cut it into little... Um, smaller segments. So I just take this and I find just that little rectangle is, is fine for me. So I'll just snip off a, a bunch. And I don't use this often, but sometimes I, I do um, think, oh, you know, I lost a little bit that, of that white. I probably used it up in the, um, the mist of that one. Um, even to s just kind of soften it. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take this this little cube. I'm sticking it in just fresh water. Um, I can come on here now. The rest of the painting is pretty wet, so I really can't go into those other areas. But as long as my painting is dry, I can come down in here and lift a lot of now this is watercolor paper this is a hundred percent so this is also what we're going to look at because in our I keep moving things on myself I'm very bad with that okay so use my paper towel I want to pick up those areas that I just picked up with this uh, little guy here, but see how much lighter that is already and I could go in there and Lighten other areas if I needed to Once I'm done. I just I pull that I blot it and I Can wait for that and I can come back in and paint and this is not going to affect too much of what is going on um I could go on and on about all the different things that like throwing the salt in or using um, saran wrap, but we could do that another day. <laughs>